So they told you the vaccines worked perfectly and they were going to solve all your problems. Now they're telling you without ever admitting that they've changed their view on the subject that actually you're going to need a lot more mandatory injections. You have to. That was always the plan. They just kind of didn't mention it. Now the Biden White House is pushing COVID booster shots, more injections for millions of Americans, including young people who've already had COVID. So like maybe this is a great idea, but we should definitely pause and ask real questions. No one's doing that except Dr. Marty McCary is a professor of public health at Johns Hopkins University. And today he testified before the Congress. He noted this is pretty irresponsible. Dr. McCary joins us today to explain why he thinks that. Doctor, thanks so much for coming on. I mean, this is just one of these conversations that we're not allowed to have. And I think that we should have a period. So what is your view on this? Well, what happened last Wednesday is that Pharma did their own secret study and they came out with a press release saying that a third dose helps against Omicron. They didn't release the underlying data and immediately our CDC put out this urge for every 15, for every 16 and 17 year old to get a booster shot. Now there's nothing that represents waste and excess and a dysfunctional scientific community more than requiring a young, healthy, low risk student who's already had COVID to get a third dose of the vaccine. There will be unintended harm from this blanket policy. And who's making the decisions here? Our CDC just falls in line. Does our CDC work for Big Pharma or does it work for the American people? Well, that's the question. And where's our political system here? I mean, we've got protests outside Fox News all the time. You know, most people who dissent too. There are no protests outside Pfizer. So here you have this giant publicly held pharma company, which does a lot of good. I'm not, you know, attacking them on everything, but like no one's even, you're not even last, allowed to ask questions about Pfizer's behavior. What, that doesn't seem like a functioning system to me at all. And don't expect Big Pharma to be talking about natural immunity. We've never heard a wink about it from our public health officials. People have circulating antibodies that neutralize the virus, but they are, they are antibodies that the government does not recognize. And because of this massive mistake, careers have been destroyed, teachers, nurses, soldiers have been fired. And let's be honest, these are not older people who are high risk for COVID. Those people, if they haven't had the infection, I recommend they get vaccinated. These are young people and medical privacy is basically dead. You've got young, healthy women now at the workplace explaining to their supervisor why they have a history of clots or why they've chosen to be hesitant about the, the vaccine or they've read about menstrual irregularities, which is a real thing that's been described. And Johns Hopkins is doing a formal big study on menstrual irregularities with the vaccine. Medical privacy is basically dead. I would love to get every news anchor, many of whom I know in here, to tearfully apologize for reading Pfizer talking points in place of science for a year, misleading the public, doing the bidding of the powerful. It's really, sh it's really shameful, I think. Anyway, I appreciate the bravery on display in your comments following the science, Dr. Marty McCary of Johns Hopkins. Thank you. Thank you, Tucker.